Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. Last time, we headed south from Blackthorn City to Route 45, fought a bunch of trainers, and then uh, took a rather sizable detour to Mount Mortar. And uh, we earned ourselves a Tyrogue. And this time, we are headed to the Whirl Islands, finally. To, uh, face off against a, uh, certain legendary Pokémon. So... Uh, I hate the Whirl Islands. It's probably... It does require Flash, really? Ugh. Now I hate it even more. Alright, I went and got Paris out of the frickin' PC. Grr. I really hate that I had to do that. And, uh... Oh, hello. Did I actually go into the right, uh, the right place? Like, by accident? Escape rope? Cool. That's gonna be handy. I think I'm... Oh, no, I did not. Okay, good. I mean, not, not good, but... I, I don't know. Anyways. Uh, this place has, I think, three new wild Pokemon that we can catch. Aside from, aside from the, uh, the aforementioned legendary. So it's a good thing that Repel's effect just wore off, because I do want to actually, hopefully, run into those. Although I probably should have, uh... I probably should go back upstairs because one of them is only available from surfing, but I assume there's 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 going to be more water, right? D wow, that encounter rate. Okay. Well, here's number one. Seal is adorable, as we know, as you can quite plainly see. And, uh, yeah, it evolves into the Water Ice-type Dugong, which... I don't know. I, I like Dugong. Used it in XD. It worked out pretty well. One of the lesser known, or one of the lesser talked about water types, at least from Gen 1. Seal! The Sea Lion Pokémon! In daytime, it is often found asleep on the seabed in shallow waters. Its nostrils close while it swims. So it can't breathe underwater? That's, uh, that's what I'm getting from that? Hidden item? Hidden item! Ultra Ball that I can sell. Excellent! Up here is a non-hidden item and a non-hidden encounter with a crab. One of the very few times that you can, uh, see a crabby on land. then. Well, first of all, I'll put up another repel because uh, there are no more new encounters on land. And... I'll give Gyarados the Dragon Fang for now. In fact, I don't, I don't really uh, see why I can't just give it the Dragon Fang in general other than because it doesn't have any dragon moves, but, uh... Oh, that's... that would be the exit. But yeah, I... I don't really, uh, intend to give any of my Pokémon dragon-type moves, so... Uh, Gyarados can just hold on to that for... ever, basically. But yeah, I've, I've always been terrible at navigating the Whirl Islands, and I believe I now need to leave and come out in a different entrance. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's a thing that I have to do. Unless, uh, d oh, god damn it. No, not cut, you frickin' fool. I'm saying that to myself, by the way, not not necessarily to Paris. 
Oh, okay, so that's that doesn't lead to uh, the other entrance. Well, while I'm here, I might as well wear off my rappel and uh, catch a thing. Sweet, first try. Horsey, also adorable. Also rather easy to catch, hopefully. Eh. But yeah, like I uh, like I mentioned previously in uh, a previous episode, Horsey will eventually evolve into one of the coolest water types in the game, Kingdra, which I I love using Kingdra. I hate fighting against it, much like Mill Tank. But uh, yeah, I used one in uh, Red slash Fire Red, and it was it was quite nice. One of my favorite water types, just overall. And uh, if if it would stay in the ball, then uh, that would that would be nice. Okay, fine then. I'll toss out Gyarados and Dragon Rage you. Is that what you want? Cause that's what you gon' get. I'm blind. Are you serious? A level 18 horsey doesn't have more than 40 HP? Alright then, fine. How about a level 17 horsey? Also probably not. Thank you. That took, what, a month? Horsey, the dragon Pokémon. Its big developed fins move rapidly, allowing it to swim backward while still facing forward. Yay. Alright, now we can leave and find a... <sighs> Note to self, put a rappel back up. As I was saying, we can now leave and find a different entrance. After putting a rappel back up. After finding our rappels. Uh, there we go. Not B. There we go. Um, thing is, I have no idea which entrance is the right one. I want to say bottom right is the one we want to end up in eventually. But I'm not 100% on that. Uh, hello trainer. Hello other trainer. Wait, I didn't fight you?! Okay. Okay, fine, you've got one Pokémon. Bonk! Nicely done, Omelette! And you even got yourself a level up for it. I'm proud of you. Alright, let's actually get to the, uh, the... Did I not fight you either? I didn't! Good god, editing! Anyone else here that wants to challenge me that I apparently haven't fought before? Okay, not you, apparently. Good. Um... I, 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 really, I have to go around? 
God, Whirl Islands, you are just the worst. Like, you make me bring along two HM users, and you make me walk extra steps. Uh, you, you don't have Flash. <laughs> Which, really, now that I think about it, all shiny Pokémon should be able to learn Flash. Because that's, that's just what they do. As soon as they come out of the Pokéball, they just sparkle. Another Ultra Ball, cool. Also known as another $600, also known as another three Pokéballs. Hidden item? Hidden item. Rick! Oh, I want that! Uh, Paris, you... you get a mystery berry. Yay. So down here we have... something, I, I assume. We have repels to use. I'm very glad I restocked on those. Although I might need to restock again once the once this dungeon is over. Nugget. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss my guard spec. No, I don't want to give it to anything. Because there, I'm not gonna be using that. And it is worth far less money than the Nugent. Um... Is this something else that we have already? Yes! Full Restore, sweet. that I can throw away? Probably not. I... I don't need paralyzed heals. I've got full heals. I also probably don't need my regular potions, either. But, whatevs. Ooh! Ooh, this is promising. Uh... As is that. Oh, this is items. Max Elixir. I could have sworn I already had a Max Elixir, but that's, uh... Another full restore, okay. I never use PP restoration items, but... You know, once again, just in case. Uh... Alright, I'll toss my potions, then. My god, Gen 4 and beyond has just spoiled me with the, uh, amount of bag space that you have. Which is... all of it. D no, stop going up! I did not tell you to go up. Uh, down here... Good. Just what I like to see. This... This is this one again. Alright. I guess I'll go to top left then, next. BRB.
Okay, let's head on in. Uh, I think. Th this is the right one, right? This might not be the right one. Uh, I, I think it is. Eh, I'm lost! I'm lost on the outside, which is rare. But yeah, this is totally the one I've been to already. Uh, uh, editing. Well, that was a complete bust, so we're going bottom right. Let's do it. I really hate how it makes you get on your get back on your surfing Pokemon for one whole tile. Uh, not cut, you fool. Down we go. So somewhere up here should be the right way to go, unless I'm wrong. I'm, uh, I'm definitely wrong. This is a place we've... Oh my god. God! Is it top right? Is that what the one I'm thinking of? That might be the one I'm thinking of. More editing! Okay, I think I just... I think I just made a wrong turn somewhere down here. And, uh... Then that screwed me up, but I think down here is where we want to go. That'll lead us here. Gives us access to a max revive. Excellent. And now, we can go down a waterfall. Appa okay, apparently my, re my repel wore off in the middle of a waterfall? I had no idea that was possible. Because I didn't think that counted as, uh, steps taken. But... Here's our destination. This room... has... some weird duck thing. Before, uh, actually engaging with the weird duck thing, there's... There's, uh, one wild Pokémon here, other than the weird duck thing, that can only be found in this room. And here it is! Seedra, the evolved form of Horsey. Just so that we don't have to evolve a Horsey. You can probably take a couple of Rock Smashes. Wow, you can probably take several Rock Smashes. Uh, how about a Headbutt? Bonk. Nicely done, Omelette! Way to show restraint. Oof! Wow! Only took two balls! Not what I was expecting. Seedra, the dragon Pokémon. Its fin tips leak poison. Its fins and bones are highly valued as ingredients in herbal medicine. I like how they actually support this Pokédex entry in later games by giving Seedra the ability Poison Point. It's, uh, it's a really nice touch. I like that a lot. So, we're just gonna, we're gonna switch Sharon to the front because Paralysis is a good idea. Then we're gonna save. My god, are we going to save? Because this is probably going to take several attempts. Yes! Lugia is going to be our most difficult 
challenge yet in terms of catching things. That safeguard is going to be irritating because it means I can't paralyze it yet. So it's a good thing I started off with Spark. It has Recover. That just hurts my soul. Alright, we're, uh, we're in for the long haul here. The longest of hauls. Aeroblast! Aeroblast is Lugia's signature move. It is a ridiculously powerful, uh, flying-type move. Which I think also has a high critical hit ratio. I could be wrong on that part, but, uh... Luckily, sending out Sharon first was a good idea in more ways than one. Because it's, uh, Lugia's only damaging moves at this point are flying type. Oh, safeguard's gone. Is it gonna put it up again? It is not. Is it gonna get a crit again? Also no. Good. Alright, that'll make things slightly easier. Fully paralyzed. Great. That means it can't recover, for that turn at least. And now it's time to lob balls at, balls at it for eternity. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Fully paralyzed again? Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here's, uh... Be prepared to see absolutely no wiggles for a while, because Lugia has a catch rate of 3, like most legendaries. And, uh, as such, will not be captured easily. Ooh. Uh, I'm actually gonna, gonna toss a Hyper Potion your way, Sharon. because uh, the ability to tank multiple Aeroblasts is going to come in very handy, even though I think it only has 5 PP. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Once again, with the two wiggles. Also, I just noticed that Lugia has thumbs. Why does it have thumbs on its wings? Mm -hmm. Also, uh, given that you find it in, uh, a very watery location such as this, you may expect it to be part water type as I did for a long time. But no, it is it is psychic flying for some reason. You know, guardian of the sea, psychic flying. Makes perfect sense, right? Just like in Sun and Moon, the guardian of the sun not being part fire type. Ouchie. Oh, no! Alright, that's... I guess that's fine. That's... I'm pretty sure that's the last Aeroblast it has. Oh, Bonk. I did nothing. Oh! You are the worst. You are the actual worst. I'm metronoming. That would have been great if it wasn't A, protected by Safeguard, and B, paralyzed already. Eesh. Go, Metronome, go! Yeah. Growl at it.
Yeah, clamp! You know, the best move. Alright, you tried. Uh, guess you're up. Back down to red. Let's give it the old college try. Uh huh. Please tell me more. Wow, that's that's the first time it's broken out after one shake. It's only ever either been two or zero. The things one thinks about when, uh, trying to capture legendary Pokémon. <laughs> I do appreciate the full paralysis kicking in every now and again. HELL YES! One take! Woo! Lugia, the diving Pokémon. It is said to be the guardian of the seas. It is rumored to have been seen on the night of a storm. Awesome. Okay. Let's leave. I think we've gotten, uh... All of the... All of the useful items in here anyway. All right. I'm uh, I'm very happy with this. So let's fly using our fainted I was going to say bird, but it's it's not a bird. It's a, a weird flying egg thing. Let's heal. And, uh, let's steal ourselves for future things, because, uh, I'm, I'm going to regret this heavily, but, uh, I'm gonna deposit Gyarados, don't, don't need you quite yet, won't need you for quite a while, we're gonna get the gang back together. And next time on Let's Play Pokemon Silver... It's time to catch some roamers. Everyone pray for my soul. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.